Yes, hi. Hi. I've heard that uh, walnut trees prevent the growth of plants they underneath do. it, around it. They do, some, <clears throat> not, not all. All right. Well, my neighbors have a volunteer walnut tree. Okay. It's probably six years old. Okay. It's in full growth. It's beautiful. I have two clematis that are turning black okay. that are within 12 feet of the tree. Is that a problem? <laughs> well, it could be. Now, I'm going to say that I don't remember what all the walnut affects. It's it's a phenomenon called a lelopathy. <laughs> try, try snowing your neighbors with that one. But at the same <laughs> time, uh, this the walnut certainly stops tomatoes and a lot of other things. I know you can grow a peony under them and does well, etc. But I'm, I'm going to guess that between the walnut and its potential toxicity and the uh, fact that clematis can get a fungal disease, it's very different. I mean, it works sound quite the same way. It's very different than black spot on a rose, but it's still a fungal disease that needs to be prevented. Uh, this year, with our wet spring and so on, there's a very good chance that those leaves became infected, affected both, uh, earlier on by a month or more. And now just all of a sudden, as the heat comes up, they're not translocating water as well, and they just brown up and die. I've had the same thing happen. Um, my solution one time was that of thorough disgust. I went and bought a new plant. <laughs> it just the one that I was using was too susceptible to whatever the disease was, and I finally won. However, uh, in your case, I would think if you get one of the general, in, uh, not insecticide, fungicides, and spray it and spray thoroughly up under, down over, uh, down the stems, clear to the ground, and so on, and use it as a preventive that you won't see any kind of curative action, but you may keep the balance of the plant from contracting this disease problem. Um, So we could, and I'd have to go back to a list, uh, and there aren't many, the the, um, Ohio Hort, oh my, I can't think of the website right now. But anyhow, they, they have a listing in part of what will tolerate walnut and what won't. That would help you. And then, uh, part, let's just say, initially, part of the blame on the walnut, because being within 12 feet means the roots are out, probably intertwined with the clematis and could be damaging at this point uh, at a six-year age. And then it also could be a fungal body that blows in during a rainstorm and causes a problem totally independent of the walnut. So I'm, I'm going to send you into a research mode uh, where it could be either or both, for that matter. 